What's up guys, this is uh, Moss Moon, uh, just coming at you guys trying to bring out another commentary. You guys are welcome to enjoy the fights I'm about to display. Um, really just wanted to post something up while I go ahead and uh, talk about a couple of topics. Uh, number one, uh, I'm going to be hosting a tournament and I want as many people possible to uh, join in. I, I'm really just doing it for the fun. And um, there are going to be prizes. Uh, I think it could be really exciting depending on uh, who decides to uh, turn up to the event. Really the tournaments are going to be uh, divided into about four different parts. One's going to be a single player mode. I mean uh, not a single player but uh, the uh, one versus one. Uh, and the other is going to be um, team. And that's going to be for Storm 2. And then I also uh, want to host a tournament and mm, I want to say around let's see February March probably about March next year um, maybe April uh, for generations of course um, if you haven't heard they have just announced that there's going to be a um, online tournament hosting uh, mode that's going to be on generations pretty excited about that. I think it's going to be a big deal. So two major reasons why, why I'm doing that. Uh, number one, um, I've been playing the Ultimate Ninja series since, of course, PlayStation, the very first versions. Um, and when the first few came out, I was already hosting tournaments at my old college. And um, I just had a blast doing it, you know. I mean, I had a prize, gave it away, it was fun, you know. Um, really, this isn't to brag on ourselves or anything like that, but, you know, we had lots and lots and lots of people participating in our tournaments and trying to train up. No one could touch us. Not at all. All three of us, it was just super intense. And I wish that we still had some videos from back during that time, but um, fortunately we don't. I was the first winner of the, uh, the first tournament I held. Then uh, my buddies uh, Armand and Devon, who used uh, Shikamaru and Naruto, they just came out of nowhere and uh, <laughs> started training on the game. And they lost in the first tournament, and then <clears throat> the next couple tournaments we had, they were just dominating. I mean, I really thought I was going to come out on top again, but, um, you know, they just ended up getting just so good that it, it was just kind of like a struggle between who's the best out of all of us. You know, you had um, Devon, who is basically the one who is really calculating, really skilled at using Shikamaru. You had to be really careful. And if you haven't played Excel, Shikamaru had a lot of different different skills. He had a lot of different skill sets that he did he doesn't seem to have on the Storm uh, series. Lastly, on that note, um, you know, uh, times have changed. People uh, people have different flavor. People people like to play the game for different reasons. So I understand Storm, and uh, at first I hated Storm, to be honest with you. I couldn't stand it, and I, I don't think, my, my friend Armand, he got on Storm too, he didn't like it either, you know. There's a lot of things broken with Storm to me, <clears throat> but um, <laughs> through it all I was able to find a way to make the game fun for me. You know, because the game is fun for different people for different reasons, obviously. The reason why I was able to make this game fun is because I, I have fun out of the challenge of trying to get through people that are extremely, extremely persistent and consistent with the same moves over and over and over again. If I can find a way to get past someone who, by whoever's definition spamming is, if I can find a way to get past a certain spammer, I feel fulfilled. 
If I defeat somebody who is using the most common character in the game, I feel fulfilled. And I get excitement, you know, out of trying to find a way to beat that person. So really, Storm to me is just about trying to adapt to whatever fighting style anybody has. Whether everybody wants to call it cheating or they want to call it spamming, you know, they want to call it blocking, jump block, whatever. You know, you have to find a way around each person's fighting style. Cheat or not cheat, you know. And, um, you know, one guy said something earlier that was pretty interesting. He was talking about uh, an honorable fight is really just subjective. You know, to a degree, I agree with that. You know, it is subjective. You know, we think that if a person decides to just use combos the whole match, he was an honorable person. But you know what? <clears throat> he made a good point. He said, if somebody didn't defeat me with everything that they had, then I would feel dishonored. <laughs> and I agree, you know, you gotta find out how to win whatever way you can, basically. The only thing I don't agree with is really running away. You shouldn't run away from a fight unless you've got the triple special <laughs> or the super drive, whatever you wanna call it. That technique right there takes up way too much health. I don't care what anybody says. Way too much health. That technique is probably, if there's anything broken in the game, it's that. <laughs>